The biggest dinosaurs may still be hidden. Many people think we've already found the largest dinosaurs that ever lived, but scientists are starting to suspect there might be even bigger ones buried in the Earth. Some models suggest that Tyrannosaurus rex could have grown 70% heavier than any skeleton we've discovered so far. Because of how rare fossils are, it might take centuries to find these true giants. This idea alone is exciting. It means that every new fossil site could reveal a record-breaking dinosaur. So next time you see a T-Rex in a museum, remember that there might have been an even larger version of that predator roaming the ancient world. Why giant fossils are so hard to find? Finding dinosaur bones depends on many factors. Most bones never become fossils, and many remain buried in remote places. Extra-large dinosaurs would be even rarer because they were a tiny fraction of their own species population. That makes them especially hard to uncover. Some researchers focus on areas where big dinosaurs have appeared before, like parts of North and South America. Others try new regions, hoping to stumble upon something massive. No matter the approach, the hunt continues. But large size isn't the only fascinating thing about dinosaurs. Some scientists recently studied footprints that hint at a whole new way small predators may have moved. Strange flapping tracks that challenge our ideas. Researchers found footprints made by a small two-toed dinosaur that moved faster than expected. These tracks suggest it may have flapped its wings while running. We used to think these feathered dinosaurs only glided or used short bursts of flight. Now, we see they might have used their wings to speed up on the ground. 2. It's still not clear if these dinosaurs were trying to take off or just boosting their speed. But this discovery expands our view of how clever and agile small raptor-like dinosaurs could be. And speaking of clever adaptations, some dinosaurs use their tails in ways we never expected. Stegosaur spikes, more bluff than battle. Many dinosaurs, like stegosaurs, had dangerous-looking tail spikes. In some species, these spikes could pierce bone. But recent research on a dinosaur named Miragaya shows that its tail might have been better at scaring predators than actually injuring them. The tail could swing quickly, but the bones weren't sturdy enough for intense combat. So Miragaya may have used its tail as an intimidation tool, whipping it around to look fierce. This strategy appears in many living animals that flash quills or flares to deter enemies. Still, no dinosaur was truly defenseless. Some took an entirely different approach to stay safe. They dug their way out of danger. A dinosaur that burrowed underground. We usually imagine dinosaurs roaming open landscapes, but a small herbivore named Fauna likely dug burrows. Found in eastern Utah, this dinosaur had body features that hinted at digging, strong forelimbs, and specialized claws. Its skeletons are well-preserved, suggesting it sometimes died in its own dens. This behavior flips the idea that dinosaurs were all huge and lived on the surface. Fauna's group might have hidden below ground to avoid predators or escape bad weather. Fossil evidence of underground dens is hard to find, so there might be more of these digging dinosaurs out there. As we dig into the past, we also learn about how life changed after dinosaurs disappeared, especially how ants formed a surprising alliance with fungus, how ants and fungus took over after the asteroid. It might seem strange to talk about ants in a dinosaur video, but when the asteroid hit 66 million years ago, many creatures died off, including all non-avian dinosaurs. In that grim environment, fungus spread rapidly, feeding on dead plants and animals. Certain ants survived by eating this fungus, then began farming it. Over time, these ants defended their fungus, and the fungus provided a steady source of food. This relationship is still alive in leafcutter ants today. While dinosaurs were gone, smaller life forms found new ways to thrive. However, not all dinosaurs were lone giants before that event. Some had complex social lives that changed as they grew up. Dinosaurs that lived in age-based groups. Fossil evidence from a dinosaur called Hypacrosaurus shows that younger members formed separate herds until they were about four years old. After that, they joined older multi-generational groups. This suggests dinosaurs' social behavior changed as they matured. It challenges the idea that dinosaurs were either always solitary or always in herds. Instead, they might have switched group structures as needed, like many modern animals do. But even in these herds, some dinosaurs remain small. Yes, small dinosaurs did exist alongside the biggest titans of their time, finding the hidden world of mini dinosaurs. For years, we focused on famous giants from places like the Hell Creek Formation, T. Rex, and Triceratops. But recently, scientists named a turkey-sized dinosaur called Eneophron infernalis. 
It lived side by side with huge predators, but likely avoided them by being small and quick. Many dinosaurs show that size wasn't always king. Small species had their own strategies to survive, often competing for food and space in the shadow of giants. They remind us that the Mesozoic was a diverse world, home to creatures of every shape and size. Another reason dinosaurs took over was their flexible diets, a factor that shaped their entire future. How Dinosaurs Ate Their Way to Success Scientists have studied fossilized dinosaur droppings and stomach contents from the late Triassic and early Jurassic. They learned that dinosaur ancestors ate a wide range of foods, bugs, fish, leaves, and more. As climates changed, plants became more abundant, allowing herbivorous dinosaurs to get bigger. This, in turn, led to bigger carnivores, creating an arms race of size. This shift laid the groundwork for the huge sauropods and mighty predators of the Jurassic and Cretaceous. But within that group of top predators, tyrannosaurs branched into several subfamilies. One surprising discovery from Mexico shows these killer dinosaurs weren't all built the same. A new branch of tyrannosaurs. Everybody knows T-Rex, but it wasn't the only tyrant dino around. Skeletons from Alaska to Mexico reveal multiple species in this family. One new find named Labocania aglonae suggests a southern group of slender, long-legged tyrannosaurs. They evolved separately from the subgroups found farther north. This expanded family tree means there wasn't just one main lineage ending in T-Rex. Different types of tyrannosaurs lived at the same time, each with unique features. It's another reminder that we still have much to learn about these fierce predators. And while we often think all sauropods were massive, one special case in Patagonia shows that's not always true. When a titanosaur was surprisingly small, we usually picture titanosaurs as the biggest land animals ever, stretching over 100 feet and weighing as much as dozens of elephants. But a newcomer called Titanomachia measured only about the size of a cow. This discovery came from 70 million year old rocks in Patagonia. Why was it so small? Perhaps it lived in an area where resources were limited, or it needed to hide from local predators, like the horned Carnotaurus that roamed the same region. Finding a small titanosaur breaks our old rule that all members of this group were massive. It's another reminder that dinosaurs had endless variety, and there's still more to uncover. The never-ending hunt for dinosaur secrets. From bigger-than-expected T-Rex to wing-flapping raptors, and from burrowing herbivores to fungus-farming ants, these findings prove how complex the dinosaur world truly was. Dinosaurs used intimidation, social groups, or underground dens to survive. Many coexisted with tiny species we barely noticed before. With each fossil unearthed, we get a clearer picture of life millions of years ago. Yet there's always more waiting to be discovered in the ground, ready to change our ideas about these ancient reptiles.